Hello. Edutainment Studios and Access Healthcare welcomes you to high blood pressure, getting your numbers down. This module is part one of a two-part series on high blood pressure. Blood pressure is determined both by the amount of blood your heart pumps and the amount of resistance to blood flow in your arteries. The more blood your heart pumps and the narrower your arteries, the higher your blood pressure. You can have high blood pressure, hypertension, for years without any symptoms. Even without symptoms, damage to blood vessels and your heart continues and can be detected. Uncontrolled high blood pressure increases your risk of serious health problems, including heart attack and stroke. In this course, the objective is to help you learn the basic information about high blood pressure, what the risks are of having high blood pressure, how you can be tested for high blood pressure. When you have high blood pressure or hypertension, blood is pumping against your artery walls with too much force. This is how it works. Healthy arteries are smooth, flexible, and open, allowing for easy blood flow. Over time, the force of high blood pressure stretches your arteries so weak spots, which can tear, form in the lining. Scar tissue builds up on top of these tears, making your arteries less flexible. The scar tissue also acts as a net and catches cholesterol and plaque from your blood. Plaque buildup narrows the space in your arteries for blood to flow through. This means your heart has to work harder to pump blood through narrowed arteries. Left untreated, high blood pressure can cause your arteries to rupture or become completely blocked so blood can't flow through them. This increases your risk of a heart attack or stroke. High blood pressure does not usually have symptoms, but certain factors can increase your risk. And if you already have high blood pressure, some behaviors and lifestyle choices can make it worse. Your risk increases as you get older. Being overweight can increase your risk. If you have a family history of high blood pressure, you are at a higher risk. High blood pressure is more common in African Americans. Your risk can increase if you are not physically active or stressed and if you smoke or chew tobacco. If you eat a high sodium or low potassium diet, drink too much alcohol, or take certain medicines, your risk of high blood pressure is greater. Talk to your doctor about changes you can make to help lower your risk. Your blood pressure reading measures two forces. Systolic pressure is your blood pressure when your heart beats and pumps blood out of your heart and into your arteries. This is when your blood pressure is highest. Diastolic pressure is your blood pressure when your heart rests between beats. This is when your blood pressure is lower. The categories on this slide are recommended and used by the American Heart Association. The information on this slide includes some helpful internet links where you can get more information and maybe even get some of your questions or concerns taken care of before you see your doctor. Thank you for joining us today for part one of this two-part series on high blood pressure and come back for part two.